Hello friends, my name is Faye and you're watching Mystery Date with a Book. Okay, today we're going to talk about something completely different. Uh, we're going to talk about my PGCE, my teacher training. I know some people are about to start their teacher training and this would be very helpful for them because I wish I knew some of the things I know now before I started. Does that make any sense? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but if you're here for book videos, which is what I usually talk about, books and bullet journals, um, if you're here for those, it's absolutely okay to skip this video. If you're interested in teacher training, then maybe stick around. It might be interesting, I don't know. <laughs> if you want to know what happens, you know, behind the curtain, y you know. <laughs> It's always interesting, you know, it's always good to learn. Um, but if you're about to embark on your PGC or your student teaching, training, you know, school direct, school direct is a different route. I did not go through that, so I'm, I can't really comment on that. But if you're doing your PGC, if you're going to university and doing placements and all that shebang, stick around and you might learn something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so things you're going to need. I've seen on Instagram, on Pinterest, people who buy lots of cute little stationery and stickers and cute everything, notebooks, to start their PGC. You won't really need any of that, if I'm honest. <laughs> okay, I was one of those people who bought really cute stationery and let's see, like, my outliners and all that. I use these for my bullet journal now because I, I never use them for my PGC. Like, I got washi tape. Can you see that? Like, you know. I mean, I can use all of these things for my bullet journal, which is nice. But you don't need any of this for your teacher training, for your PGC. Um, okay, what you do need is a printer, okay? You might say, well, but my uni has a printer. That's okay, I'll just use theirs. Or the school where I, I'll be doing my placement probably has a printer. They all do. Um, so that's okay. Yes, that's absolutely fine. But having a printer in your room at uni or, you know, at home, if you're staying at home, is so helpful because you don't want to waste time getting up earlier in the morning than you have to to go into school and have to stay in line with all those teachers trying to use that printer and sometimes the printer runs out of paper or sometimes it jams you know don't rely on that what i did what my uni told me to do and what my friends did with me um we used to plan everything at home we did the resources and all that use Twinkle, use tests, use teachers, pay teachers, use anything, okay? Don't try to reinvent the wheel, you, you're go just gonna waste time. Um, so you get all your resources, you print one at home in your printer and then you photocopy it at school. It's the best way to do it, trust me. I, I, I've waited to print everything at school, never again the internet wouldn't connect, the internet was down that day, and it was just a mess, it was chaos, honestly. Don't rely on that. Um, I've also tried printing everything at home, just, you know, all the photocopies, everything at home. I've used up so much ink. <laughs> it's not even funny, like, honestly. Uh, I was using, like, a whole cartridge a week. Like, it was insane, I spent so much money on that. It's don't, okay, don't. <laughs> Take it from me. Uh, so print a master copy at home and then just photocopy at school, okay? So you're not relying on the internet connection. You're not relying on anybody else. You just put it in there, put it in the printer and all the copies come out nice and easy. It's quick. So yeah, printer. Now, another thing you might need is a laminator, okay? You might think this is just going a bit too far, but honestly, if you're working with Key Stage 1 or even Foundation, if you're doing early years, if you're, if you're working with Foundation year groups, um, you're going to do a lot of laminating, okay? And again, don't rely on the school's laminator. 
if you can do it at home, do it at home. You don't want to spend a lot of time. You don't want to spend your whole day at school after the kids have gone home and all that. You don't want to stay there until like six, seven o'clock at night every day doing things you could be doing at home while they're watching Netflix, you know. Um, get a laminator. I got this on Amazon for about 10 or 11 pounds. That's like, I don't know, $15 or something if you're in America. But yes, very cheap, very useful, very, very useful. Now, something that goes along with it is a trimmer. I don't know where mine is, but get a trimmer. <laughs> I don't know what happened to mine. Anyway, um, you know what I'm talking about, right? There's a, a blade, it just swipe it across and the paper gets cut. You know what I'm talking about? It's a trimmer. So yes, <laughs> some people ca call it a guillotine or something like that. Anyway, get one of those as well. I got a really cheap one, like three, four pounds at Home Bargains. It, it was a lifesaver, honestly. It's so much faster than cutting everything by hand with a pair of scissors. Get a guillotine. It's cheap, it's useful. It's a oh, lifesaver, honestly, because the guillotine, the trimmer that we had at my school, it broke. Everything breaks, guys, I'm telling you, everything breaks. It broke and they didn't fix it. They just, just didn't fix it. That was it. <laughs> so, get a trimmer. Okay, in your teacher bag, you should always have a pencil case, okay? In your pencil case, you're going to need... The most important things in the world you're going to need in this PGC green pen and a pink pen okay we don't use red nowadays we use pink pink for think okay so if you need that's most schools okay not everyone's doing this but every single school I've been to whether I was working as a classroom assistant or if I was doing my placement in my PGC they always use pink pink and green <laughs> so if you're marking your books at the end of the day and you just want to put a check because they got it right. Use green. If you want to leave a comment or a little dot because they got it wrong, use pink. These are the two most used pen colors a teacher will use. Honestly, green and pink. Get yourself a few of each color, okay? Something else you're going to need in your pencil case is a whiteboard marker, okay? Simple. Always have this in hand because you never know the classroom you might be in might be running out of them They might just disappear Okay um, Yeah, things happen in school and you, you need it. Okay, you're going to need one of those anyway um, Enough bubbling, right? Let's move on <laughs> something else you're going to need Post-it notes, okay, I have a gazillion post-it notes here like honestly, like so many post-it notes, they're very useful. You're going to need post-it notes every now and again for your lesson plan so you don't forget what you need to do, to-do lists and you know, honestly, post-it notes, okay? Post-it notes. They don't have to be cute, they just have to, you're just gonna need loads of them, okay? Post-it notes. Okay, so something else you're going to need. Well, you don't need, but it's an organizational tip. Okay, <laughs> it's what I did in my second placement. I didn't do this in my first placement because I wasn't really teaching that much. I only taught up to 40% by the end of it. So on my second placement, when I was doing 80% of the teaching, I got myself files, okay? You see here, I have a file for Monday. So all my lesson plans, all the resources, everything I need for Monday went in here. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday's a happier one because uh, yeah, everybody loves Fridays. <laughs> but yes, have them in your bag, okay? So if you need a big plastic bag like this, just get one of those. If you have a really big, really big bag, use this. That's what I use for my PGC very sturdy very good very big you can fit a4s in there i paid eight pounds for it primark can't complain get all your files in there get all your resources all your lesson plans in there it really makes your life a lot easier if you can just open your bag you see everything you need for that day um you can go back 
and look at what you did the day before or if you've run out of things to do if you know if you have extra time you can look at what you you're gonna have for tomorrow and you know maybe pick something from there it's up to you but you have everything in your bag ready to go split into days that was honestly uh i saved so much time with that like it was, it was brilliant last thing you need friends okay i had a group of friends there were eight of us at the beginning of the course one of us dropped out it just wasn't for her fair enough if if teaching is not for you you'll you'll notice soon enough and it's better to just drop out instead of just wasting a whole year of your life doing something you know you're not going to enjoy you're not going to pursue that and you know fair enough uh but by the end of the course there were still seven of us <laughs> seven <laughs> seven of us <laughs> okay <laughs> and um we got so close we had a group chat on messenger we supported each other we asked questions we you know we got resources from one another we used to share a lot of things um just to vent at the end of the day as well we're like oh my my teacher did this my my children did that and i don't know what i'm doing i don't know if this is for me you know we used our group it uh, it was a lifeline honestly it was so important even if you're an introvert if you don't think you're going to make a lot of friends in your course please try please try to be to, to make friends even if it's just one other person make a friend okay because they will be your lifeline nobody else knows what it's like to be on that course nobody knows how intense it is so you're it, so at the end of the day when you come back from placement and you start complaining you start talking about it to your family to your friends they won't really grasp it they won't really understand what you're going through so having that group of friends in your course is a lifeline honestly they supported me if it wasn't for them if it wasn't for that group of people I don't think I would have finished this course. I don't think I would be a teacher today. That's all I'm going to say. It was tough. I wanted to quit. Like, I went as far as looking up flights home. But their support, their encouragement made me carry on. And, yeah. Friends, honestly. If you don't take anything away from this video, remember, make friends in your course. Number one tip. <laughs> now things you don't need you don't need cute stickers and cute highlighters okay because you're not gonna use them you won't have time to use them you will be up until 11 o'clock at night one eye on Netflix one eye on your lesson plan okay you'll be marking a lot of work you will be making resources laminating a lot of things okay so don't worry about cute stickers or you know anything like that really like I had a whole teacher planner with cute little stickers and washi tape and all that I never used it because the university wanted us to use their lesson plan template so it was a waste of money something else you don't need this might be a bit controversial but textbooks okay because everything you need every piece of information that you're going to need it needs to be up to date it needs to be very current things are always changing so go on the internet okay do your research on the internet there are brilliant websites there are brilliant journals and resources and very good information on the internet but your textbooks might be a bit outdated and you don't want to spend money on textbooks if you're not going to use them I bought, okay, they gave us a whole list of about 20 textbooks. I bought about four or five of them. I can't remember if it was four or five. Um, I never opened any of them in the whole year. I'm going to be honest, never opened any of those textbooks. And I passed with merit. So don't, don't worry about your textbooks, okay? Because it's a waste of money. It's a waste of space in your university accommodation or at home even. Don't waste your time or money with textbooks, okay? They're outdated. 
and they're you know they could be quite expensive um yeah just don't bother like you have everything you need at your university library you have everything on the internet you could get information from your class teacher your mentor your university mentor there's so much information out there you don't need textbooks trust me on this one trust me final thing just to wrap this up i wanted to give you a little tip for behavior management in a way i want to encourage good behavior in my classroom as all teachers do and i have tried a couple of things some worked some didn't it, it's as they say not everything will work with every single child all the time so you have to keep changing things now what i tried to do was getting postcards funny children postcards and giving them as a reward at the end of the week there's you have to find wally on this one. Oh, this one find wally so yeah and then at the back you leave a little message for them um i tried doing that with my oops with my year six class so they're 10 11 year olds it didn't really work for them it didn't really work for us um but my friend who was doing the same course she was working with a younger class and it worked really well for that class so you know there were about eight or nine i think if i'm not, if I'm not mistaken and it worked really well so this is an option it could work at the end of the week you just leave a very lovely comment pull this out and give it to the child that's it they love it i mean some children really really do enjoy it and it's a message that you're sending home you know you're building a good relationship with the parents as well because you know sometimes when the parents get notes from school they think oh no what has my child done now but this is actually a positive message it's it's something good that they're receiving from their child <laughs> teacher even if it's a student teacher so yes um that's always nice now what worked for me on both of my placements actually i didn't use this on my first placement i used this on my second placement with those 10 11 year olds was a prize box oh can you see it oh, oh too much sun okay here uh okay a prize box they absolutely love this um every day whenever they get something good when if they were working really hard if they were being kind to each other you know all different criterias if they were doing something good i would put their names up on the chart at the end of the week if your name was up on the very top, on the gold star, then you got to go into the prize box. And they got to pick what they wanted from the prize box. Now, I like having a variety of prizes on my prize box just to keep them interested. Like we had squishies. Squishies. Now, I had a squishy attached to my USB. All my lesson plans were on my USB. Everything I needed, all my PowerPoints were on my USB. And one of the children actually stole my USB stick because of the squishy that was attached to it. Thank goodness it was password protected so nobody could get into my USB. But I lost a really good USB. So be aware of that as well. Keep your things safe, locked away in a cupboard if at all possible. Okay, don't leave your things lying around, even if it's just a USB um we got lovely pencils as well i got these pencils i got i think it was 99 pencils for seven pounds i still have a whole box of them like honestly <laughs> all of these prizes i got i got squishies i got 30 squishes for three pounds as well go on amazon go on you know highlighters work these little things work as well. Anything really. Tic tac toe, you'll find them at Tesco for like a pound. Um, anything really like bouncy balls. Anyway, um, <laughs> I need to reset this. Um, so anything really like silly party favors, you know, you get them on Amazon, you get them on eBay, you get them on Wish. Wish is really good for that because, you know, it might take a while to arrive because it comes from China, but you can get really cheap things from wish just wanted to show you before i go my resources files because every every time you 
make your own resource. Every time you use something really good, you think, oh, I might want to use it again. Keep it, save it on a file. Now, my university asked us to keep it on a physical file so they could look at it. Now, resources, I even made a little label. Now, these are the resources for my first placement. You can see I had time to make cute little stickers back then. Now, for my second placement, you'll see the difference in the stickers. Honestly, I just put some tape on it and wrote because I did not have time to make cute little stickers. This shows clearly the kind of time you have, the kind of workload that you get, the difference from the start of your course to the end. So if you have something to do, if you have essays to write, we all did, uh, do as much as you can at the beginning of the course so you don't leave anything to the end. Um, I do have a lot of resources now. <laughs> Not everything is here though, but yes, I split them up into different um, subjects. So it's all very organized, but <laughs> it's just so much of it. Um, yeah. So just so you can see, I had time to do things. I did not have time to do things. I was working hard, guys. <laughs> so just wanted to give you a heads up, really. Um, it is a very intense course. You will be working very hard. So take some time off for yourself. Do some self-care, you know, do whatever you need. If you need a night off, just to sit down and watch Netflix, do, okay? Don't worry about anything else during your PGC, during your year, okay? It's not even a year, it's 10 months, basically. Um, don't worry about anything else, okay? Uh, don't worry about eating healthy or going to the gym or anything. Just focus on what you're doing because if you try to balance too many plates at once, some things are gonna drop, okay? So, be very careful, work, but don't work too much, okay? You don't want to burn yourself out. You want to enjoy this year, okay? Enjoy it. Try to make some friends, please. Make teacher friends. They will be lifesavers, honestly, do. That is the biggest tip I can give you, make friends. And I think that's it. So you know what to do. If you like this video, click a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're into books. I usually talk about books and yeah, that's it guys Good luck on your PGC. Good luck on your teacher training and If you need anything if you need any if you have any questions if you need to rant if you need anything Just leave a comment down below and we'll chat. Okay I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye